Researchers have created a robot capable of conducting experiments more efficiently and sustainably to develop a range of new semiconductor materials with desirable attributes. The researchers have already demonstrated that the new technology called RoboMapper can rapidly identify new perovskite materials with improved stability and solar cell efficiency. North Carolina State University researcher says that RoboMapper allows them to conduct materials testing more quickly, while also reducing both cost and energy overhead, making the entire process more sustainable. Conventional materials research requires a researcher to prepare a sample and then go through multiple steps to test each sample using different instruments. This involves placing, aligning, and calibrating samples as needed to collect the data. Think of it as an assembly line that is both time-consuming and requires a lot of electricity to power the relevant instruments. Previous efforts to automate this process have relied largely on automating the assembly line with one sample per chip moving through the entire data collection process. This improves speed, but each of the steps still has to be done with one sample at a time. RoboMapper also automates this process, but places dozens of samples on each chip by miniaturizing the material samples with the help of modern printing. It still performs each step of the data collection process, but it does so for multiple materials in parallel, saving time and energy. The researcher says that this makes searching for new materials far more efficient, more cost-effective, and more sustainable in terms of carbon footprint. It is nearly 10 times faster than previous automated techniques. To confirm this, the team evaluated the normal impact of traditional materials research and data collection and compared it with the RoboMapper. The RoboMapper's ability to streamline the data collection process by placing dozens of materials on the same chip reduced greenhouse gas emissions tenfold. To demonstrate the utility of RoboMapper, the researchers focused first on perovskite materials. Perovskites, which are defined by their crystalline structure, are better than silicon at absorbing light. That means perovskite solar cells can be thinner and lighter than silicon solar cells without sacrificing the cell's ability to convert light into electricity, making them a focal point for research into next-generation solar technologies. Specifically, the researchers focused on perovskite stability, which is one of the biggest challenges in the field. Basically, the challenge is that perovskite materials tend to degrade when exposed to light, losing the properties that made them desirable in the first place. The researchers are looking for ways to engineer these materials so that they are stable, meaning they retain their desirable properties for a long time even when exposed to light. And the researchers had their first significant finding with RoboMapper during the technology's proof-of-concept demonstration. The researchers tasked RoboMapper with making alloys using a defined set of elements. RoboMapper then made samples with 150 different alloy compositions and conducted optical spectroscopy and X-ray structural assessments and stability tests of the samples. RoboMapper's tests were designed to identify whether an alloy was suitable for tandem solar cells, meaning whether it had the crystalline structure of perovskite whether it had a disabled set of optical characteristics known as the band gap and whether it was stable when exposed to intense light. This experimental data was then used to construct a computational model that identified a specific alloy composition that it predicted would have the best combination of desired attributes. The researchers then made the desired alloy with RoboMapper and by using conventional laboratory techniques and tested both. The researchers are able to quickly identify the most stable composition from a possible set of perovskite alloys at a target band gap using the specific suit of elements they confined to for this proof of concept work. The material identified using RoboMapper also turned out to be more efficient at converting light into electricity in solar cell devices. The conventional techniques validated the results from RoboMapper.